So this is a project that I've been thinking about doing for the past couple years and I finally got around to doing it. I've always wanted to do this and I built a large format box camera. This is an 8x10 large format camera. It'll shoot 8x10 sheet film and I haven't even tried this thing out yet but I just got done building it and we're gonna go through and show you how this thing works and try it out. All right, so we're gonna start out with the, the very, I guess the most important part is the lens. And this is a cheap uh, three times magnifying lens. I actually picked it up at Harbor Freight for, I think it was $2.99. It's just sandwiched between two sheets of, uh, I think it's MDF board, hard board, with a piece of felt on the back to stop the light. I've got a little bracket here that it side slides into and a hole cut into this box. Um, I figured out the focal length of this lens just simply by, I put this into a cardboard box. I had a piece of tracing paper and I focused at infinity, which was as you know, far as I could see with this thing. And I focused it till I could see that image clearly on a piece of paper, measured the distance, and that gave me the focal length. So the focal length divided by the distance of the lens across will give you the f-stop. So that's how I determined that. So hopefully that calculation will work. I made some more f-stops, and they're just different diameter holes punched into a sheet of metal and I can change these out. Same formula, focal length divided by the distance across gives you the f-stop. And I can just drop these things in and adjust my f-stop accordingly, depending on the light situation or the depth of field that I want. So I've got some small f-stops. This one would be an f-25. I'm gonna slide that in. Really, this is essentially just a box inside of a box. All painted black on the inside. You have the inner box, slides in and out so you can focus. Once you get it focused, you tighten it down, locks everything down. All right, so this is the focusing glass. It's just a simple, simple frame with a piece of glass attached to it. Um, I still haven't really finished it. I just have the glass taped in, but I can put some brackets in there to hold it. This is a piece of glass out of just a regular pitcher frame. And I used 400 grit wet sanding paper on a sanding block and just wet sanded this one side, the inside, until it got a nice, you know, cloudy haze on it. And what'll happen is that lens will project the image onto this and then that's where I can get my focal point. That's where I can get this thing into focus. So that slides right into the inside box. There's a little backstop right on the inside edge. That slides in and then I can clamp this into place with some bungee cords. All right, just like this. That holds it into place. Now I can see the image in the glass. I can focus the image. As soon as that image is focused, I got these bolts. I can clamp it down. That way that focal plane does not change. As soon as everything's clamped down, I remove the glass and install the film holder. Now that film holder, where the film sets in the film holder is the exact same distance from this front edge as the inside of the glass. So when I put this in, I know that film is in focus. And it's a kind of a, it's, it's kind of a complicated little box, but I, I built it myself. So in the dark room, I'll take the film holder into the dark room. I'll have it opened up like this. It has a dark slide. And I'll set that film right 
on the edge. The film just overhangs this edge. I go ahead and put the lid back on. Put the bolts in. Remember, this is all being done in the dark room. When I put this all together, the dark slide is closed, the film is in the dark, and I can bring that out of the dark room now. Now the film's in here, it's all set. I'll slide that into the box where the glass was. Same thing, go ahead and bungee cord this down. Right? It's in focus. The shutter will be closed. I'll show you the shutter mechanism in a second. The shutter will be closed, right? Open the dark slide, click the shutter, expose the film, the shutter will close, close the dark slide. Now I can take this box back into the dark room, remove the film, and develop the film, and then I'll have a negative. So this is my shutter mechanism that I kind of came up with. Actually, it's just a trigger mechanism. It actually fits right over top of the camera, and I can fasten that down. I'll go ahead and fasten that down and show you how it works. Okay, these are my guillotines to open and close the shutter, the short ones to open it has a little notch in it and a little, kind of a little folded edge. This is the closed shutter, has a little hole in it, the folded edge, the folded edges are reversed. When this slides down, the folded edges will interlock and block out the light. So the way you set this thing, is you drop your inner end. I have a pen that goes through the trigger. The pin's in, goes all the way through, catches the bottom of the inner plate. The shutter's closed. All right, now we set the top. Drop it in, the fold's gonna be opposite. Top plate is in. The way this operates, so if you wanted, uh, say, a three second exposure, you're gonna go one, two, three. That's your shutter mechanism. All right, so now that we gave you kind of a quick overview, we're gonna, we're gonna try it out. Um, I've never done any real photography like this. I always use digital. This is my first attempt at, that, attempt at this. So we're gonna go ahead, um, use a light meter, get our subject set up, and take a photo. We're gonna be using some uh, Fujifilm X-ray film as our film, and then we'll use a Cafinol developer, which is actually instant coffee and vitamin C. Fix it and take a look at what our negative looks like. Our subject's dead center of the frame. Now let me go ahead and focus it. Okay, the subject's in focus. We're gonna get a metered exposure and then we'll put the film holder in. We're gonna do a uh, F8, it's uh, gonna be a three second exposure. Everything's in focus. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna remove the glass plate. Glass plate's removed. Put that in. Expose, here goes nothing. We're going to expose the film. The dark slide. Three second exposure. Are you ready? Go. Still, super still. One, two, three. Let's close the dark slide. Close the dark slide. We take it into the dark room. We're gonna make some uh, developer right now, and then we'll take it into the dark room and develop it. I'm just gonna go ahead and set this in the dark room. Okay, this is what we're gonna use for our developer. 
We're gonna be using uh, regular washing soda, instant coffee, and vitamin C. We mix these together in the proper ratio and we're gonna get a caffeinol developer. We're gonna be using 27 grams of washing soda. We're gonna get, use eight grams of vitamin C and I've crushed them up in a mortise. And we're gonna use 20 grams of instant coffee. And the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put the uh, washing soda into the water, and that's actually 500 milliliters of water. Put the washing soda into the water, let it dissolve. Then we're gonna do the vitamin C into the water, let it dissolve. And then we're gonna do the instant coffee into the water and let it dissolve, and then it'll be ready. All right, so we have our negative hanging and drying. It may be overexposed, it's hard to tell. I don't know. We're gonna find out when we make a print. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the paper ready, and uh, the negative turned out pretty good. I can't really tell until I make a print out of it, but we're gonna do, we're gonna try a cyanotype print with that x-ray negative. So um, what I'm gonna use here is two chemicals. This is potassium ferrocyanide and ferric ammonium citrate. And you add those together equal parts. It'll uh, create a photosensitive uh, chemical and you just paint that on the paper and let it dry and then expose it to light. And we'll show you how that's done in a minute. See here, the color of the emulsion here. It's kind of this greenish brown color. Now we go ahead and paint it onto the paper. Okay, now we just put this in a room and let it dry in the dark. So we have our uh, cyanotype paper painted, drying out. We'll use that here in about 20 minutes, 30 minutes when it dries. All right, so here we have the negative on top of the cyanotype paper sandwiched between a piece of glass and a piece of hardboard. And we're just gonna go ahead and expose that in the sun for let's do say eight minutes and see what kind of exposure we get on that. All right, the exposure is done. Let's go ahead and reveal this and see. It looks like we've got some sort of exposure. Now we need to go ahead and develop this. Simple development is just running, you know, just cold water over it. It'll wash all the uh, emulsion off that hasn't hardened up onto the paper. You see here, it's starting to clear up nicely, looking like it may be a little overexposed. So we've decided that this picture is definitely overexposed so we're going to have to adjust our exposure time or our development time next time you can see the darks and the negative are probably a little bit too dark but you can definitely see the detail that this camera picks up so for the first picture i'm you know completely satisfied with the project so if anybody has any advice on exposure time and development time with caffeinol with vitamin c please leave a comment down below from Stonebroke Adventure, until next time, bleep!